Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell you stuff on eBay. We got about 40 things going out today. This is two days worth of orders, so about 20 things a day. Not too bad. And honestly, it's been shaping up to be a pretty good month so far. Had some pretty good sales this week. I'm happy with things, but I'm gonna show you guys what sold real quick and then we'll talk about the topic of the video. So let's get after it. All right, so here's what we got going out today. Pretty good mix, quite a bit of media, quite a bit of clothing and just a little bit of miscellaneous, not too much miscellaneous, which Probably gonna be listing quite a bit of miscellaneous next week, so that's totally fine. First thing we do have is one DVD, Steve Smith, Drummer Legacy. I'm telling you, it doesn't really matter what type of media, but nonfiction type of stuff is usually better than most. Not always, but usually. Official baseball rules from 1968. Pretty good condition on that. One PC game, I haven't come across a big lot of old Kind of 90s PC games in a while, but this is Pup Pup and Pep's Dog on a Stick. This was part of my oldest inventory that's on like a 35% off sale right now. So we got that going out. This I just listed yesterday. It sold pretty quickly. This is Mario Party Star Rush 3DS. Quite a few video games going out. NCAA Football 12. Too bad this wasn't 14 or even 13, but still worth selling. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory on the original Xbox. This right here, I saw it, I opened it up, and I was very sad because the game's not in there, and the manual's not, but oh well. Still worth selling. Oh well, not a big deal. Still selling though. I actually listed quite a few like DS cases the other day that didn't have games. So those will be selling the next few weeks. PS4, just day one edition, Just Cause 3. This was also in the oldest 35% of my store. So yeah. Two photographs. These are really cool. I haven't listed photographs in over a year at this point. They're still selling. Every couple of weeks I'm selling at least one or two. These are from Yellowstone from a little stop called Yellow Horse. So we got those. Love that. That was some great stuff with those listings I did. This is a poster. I'm gonna put it up on the screen, of course, like everything else. I'm not gonna try and unroll it one-handed. I have a question though. How do you guys store your posters that haven't sold yet? If somebody could leave that in the comments down below. I do not have a good way of that. And for that reason, I try not to pick up posters too terribly often. This is a cookbook lot. These kind of spiral cookbooks. I have started experimenting with selling more of them, like this one. Nowadays, I would probably list this individually, try to get 10 to $15 for it. But I used to lot them up and get just under $2 a book there. I'm starting to experiment a little bit with that. So stay tuned if you want to see some more of that. Had some good results already. These are Magic Quest books, also part of my 5% off sale. What, Jericho? Close my eyes? All right, guys, I'm doing the rest of this video with my eyes closed because... Jericho says I have to close my eyes. I think he's hiding something for me. So anyways, Magic Quest, lot of eight, 35% off. Finally sold, very happy. That was a great buy. Got like a thousand of these old fantasy novels, most of them in series for 33 cents a piece, three for a dollar. Soundtrack CD lots. Soundtrack CDs usually get just under a dollar a piece in lots. I buy my CDs at 25 cents a piece when buying them in bulk or less. Very good lot. Happy with all this stuff pretty much today. One Baptist hymnal. This one was missing the page with the date on it. So I listed it a little bit lower because I couldn't have as many keywords in the title. That sold. This sold also pretty quick for this, one of these old textbooks. Plain and Spherical Trigonometry with Tables by Brink. Somebody had one of these listed pretty high, but there's also had a picture for a rabbit right here. And mine didn't. I was kind of confused by that, but... You'll see what I got up on the screen. Very happy to have that going out. This is really cool. I think I priced this at $40 or maybe $30. And I took an offer on it. But this is a playbook from either the late 70s or early 80s. There's football plays, if I can get to any. Yeah, you just have to trust me. There's lots of football plays in here. I'm not sure if... This came from the same locker where I had a lot, a lot of that old football uniforms and different things. This is probably either from Pittsburgh State, Kansas, and yeah, Pittsburgh, which is Kansas. Bleh. Let me talk 
Kansas State College in Pittsburgh, or this is from some AFA team, American Football Association. My eyes are still closed, Jericho. They're totally closed. I'm doing this all blind. You want my eyes to be closed? Are you are you burying something for me? No. 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 This cool little sugar bear guy sold, I think seven dollars on this little guy. Google lens to figure out what he was. One cassette, Gary Newman. This stuff usually does pretty good. This Radio Shack book, Getting Started in Electronics. This is one of those items where there was no sold comps on it. And a few listed, but I still just listed mine right underneath everybody. And it sold in like three days. Great American Home Baking. These sell quite a bit. I had quite a few questions on this one, but finally did sell. Let's see, one plush going out today. I haven't listed many plush lately. Blue's Clues Magenta, I think that was her name. We're just a couple years too old to remember Blue's Clues too much. And here are all of these cards. It's kind of like homeschooling curriculum type thing. Story of America. Those are going out. I saw a lot of people selling individual cards for that. I did not want to piece that out though. Two pieces of fabric. I need a list the last of the fabric probably we'll do that next week or the week after if you're interested in fabric there's maybe a hundred pieces of it left let's see what else we got we got so much stuff today this is all really great stuff two sewing machine parts both knobs going out to the same buyer they sent me an offer of 13 dollars each plus shipping so i'll take that 26 dollars sell especially considering i paid 30 dollars or less for that machine this came off of actually a brand new Sunbeam, which you can see whatever I sold it for up on the screen, probably $7. If I sold the entire unit, I was gonna get like $10 plus shipping, but then you're paying way more fees because you're paying fees on the shipping and everything like that. Probably getting the same exact amount of money that way and way, way less work. Something I do quite often with these electrical plug cords. Jeans, these were really good. This is from the big 80s clothing by if you haven't seen that video go check it out lots of good clothing in it these are men's jeans here's a children's shirt it said like hot dog surf team on it or something here's another shirt from this locker this is like a football shirt but it's like a half shirt it says is there life after football practice pretty cool that sold really fast one of the kids shirts very small like a child small like jericho could have been wearing this it's a G.I. Joe shirt. Really good value there, if you can see on the screen. Don't remember what this one is. I don't know. You can see on the screen. There's another shirt. Here's just like a little men's button-up shirt. And one pair of swimming trunks. I think this is my second pair of swimming trunks since we we're starting to get into that season. They're starting to move. This is something I'm not buying very often unless I can get them for a dollar or less anymore because... Most of the swimming trunks you find around Ryder's here. Gone now. Ryder's gone? Huh? Did you hide Ryder? No, I didn't. You didn't? No, it's I see. Oh, a spider. Yeah, spider. Okay. Yeah, good. One pair of swimming trunks. Oh, Move it on so I can get back to Jericho in just a second. One baseball glove. Baseball season, spring season's really going. Baseball stuff is starting to sell. One for parts carburetor, some sort of seals, a dipstick. This has been returned before, but they didn't even open the package, so I sold it again. I see his butt, or her butt. Do you remember that one's name? Do you remember her name? I can never remember that one's name. I don't know. Last three things we got, Jericho. We got a Be Kind hat, PGA Championship visor. Paws. She's got paws? Yeah. That's so cool. And let's show them the last hat, Jericho. Huh? Kind of got some issues here, but this is pretty cool. Warns, Okima, Oklahoma, 30th anniversary. Is that, that is so last hat. Who is that? Chase. Is that Chase? Chase is on the case. Chase is on the case. All right, guys, that is everything going out today. And. Yeah, I just kind of want to talk about some benefits of doing things the way I do them, not going out and buying 
one thing here, one thing there, going to thrift stores or garage sales all the time, but buying it all at once and then just kind of processing it here at home. And that is because I get to do things like hang out with Jericho all day or whatever I want. Take him to garage sales, does not work. No, nope, he's not there yet. At least not him and his brother at the same time. One of them, maybe, but both of them, no. It's just the flexibility that it provides me and my family. That's really what this is all about is how flexible can I make my schedule? And as long as we're shipping things out every other day, we're doing good. We got to do have a weekly list listing goal. I cannot talk to gay. I think this humidity in the air is killing me. We do have a weekly listing goal that we need to get to each week, but if it happens on Monday, it happens on Monday. If it takes us till Friday, it takes us till Friday. And as long as we're shipping out every other day, we're good to go. But I'm actually behind on shipping right now, so I got to go. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.